Hi, everyone. Sometimes it can be hard to record a screencast uh, simply because there's a lot of opportunity to get caught up or to lose your place or um, even just do a lot of ums and ahs. This can cause a great deal of time to be wasted as you're recording your uh, screencast. And as you can see here, I have recorded one that uh, has that very problem. All right, so I am, oh, I'm already recording. Okay, Jimmy Cricket. Um, okay, I've got to go to the front page. Let's do that here. Here we go, back to the beginning. All right, I'm ready to start. So welcome to the PowerPoint that is the PowerPoint for this session. So as you can see, that video has a lot of mistakes in it. Um, the challenge is, I don't have the time to sit down and re-record this five times over. I want to have this working right off the get-go. The good news is there's a solution to that. The first thing I need to do to be able to fix this video, though, is I need this to be on YouTube because YouTube has the tools I'm going to use to fix it. So if I go to my little share icon right here and choose YouTube as my uh, share recording option in Screencast-O-Matic, or sorry, Screencastify, um, I can choose my channel as being mine. And privacy, I want to change that to unlisted. In fact, I really want to make that just private because I don't want anybody to see the number of mistakes I made in that video, but I want to be able to do something with it. So now I'm just going to go ahead and push the upload button. Now it sometimes takes a second or two, but once it's done, you'll see this bar will have uh, vanished and you'll see the YouTube link is right here. And so if I click on YouTube, it will take me to the YouTube page for that article. Now, when I'm looking at this, it begins with we're processing this video and check back later. That's all right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just pause the recording for a second until that's had a chance to catch up. All right, so now you can see that the video has been uploaded to YouTube. Uh, nobody can see it at this point in time. It is private. I can tell that by the little lock icon right here. And so what I want to do is to actually create a new video that uses this uh, footage. So to do that, I am going to go to my little upload button right here. And the type of video I'd like to create is a video editor video. So I'm just going to go where it says video editor and I'm going to hit edit. All right. Now you can see that there's an old uh, video sitting there that uh, I was playing with earlier, but I'm going to create a new one. So I'm going to go project, new project, create new project, yes. And I'll give it a, a name. So All right, so that's ready. And you'll see that the video I just recorded is the very first one on this list. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag that into this little box that says drag videos here. All right, so I am, oh, I'm already recording. Okay, Jim. All right. So now what I can do is I'm going to just click off into empty space here, just so that All right, so I am you can see that my cursor in this video has changed to a pair of scissors. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually play this up until the point I want to uh, actually start my video. Um, oh, I'm already recording. Okay, Jimmy Cricket. Um, okay, I've got to go to the front page. Let's do that here. Here we go. Back to the beginning. All right. So I'll uh, back that up just a hair so I get the, the all right. And now all I need to do is press on my little scissors here. And you'll see it's actually split right, the so uh, video into two. So there's an 11 seconds at the beginning, which is that me trying to find the starting point, and then right here, the real start. And because I want to make that go away anyway, I'm just going to go and hit this little X. And All right, I'm ready to start. You'll see that the video starts where I want it to start. As I play... So welcome to the PowerPoint that is the PowerPoint for this session. And um, 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 
So you can see that I've inserted a lot of ums and ahs in there. And so I'm going to go ahead and back up just a little bit and try and find that spot. Um, session. There it is. And again, I'm going to click the scissors. All right, I'm ready to start. So welcome to the PowerPoint that is the PowerPoint for this session. And um, 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 I'm going to have to stick a lot of ums in here because um, I'm getting lost in what I meant to say. But Okay, so I've got to the point where the ums end. So I'm going to go ahead and click the scissors again. All right, I'm ready and to now start. I can delete that All right. just by clicking on the X. And really, that is the whole process. Um, if you want to put some uh, audio into it, there are some uh, music uh, tracks you can actually insert into your video if you, uh, if you so choose. And if you wanted to, oops. If you wanted to bring that in, you just simply drag that down to the audio track. If you're happy with what you've done, all you need to do to save it is just click this button right here, create video, and it will create a brand new YouTube video for you that you can uh, describe, put titles on, adjust permissions, etc. As always, if you have any questions on how to do this, uh, let me know, but hopefully that'll save you some time so that if you uh, get stuck partway through a video and you don't want to have to re-record it, you can just cut out the stuff you don't like. <laughs>